Buenos dias, everybody. Oh, wait, the background's really cool there, but you cannot see me. Anyway, today, we're gonna get the breeder pigs out to pasture. First, this. Okay, we need host plants for this, bro. Oh, look, here they are. Here's a couple. What do you got? Because if you have the, the, we need the tool to, yep, let's tighten them up. Sweet, is that the right one though? What? Test it. Let me see this just so. You have to get the right size. The left size? See, that's one. We only need two. That's, that's the right size. Here, this is better. These big ones. Where are we going? We're gonna set up for the pigs. I think we're gonna set up for the pigs. It's an impossible goal, but what do I always say? Aim for the impossible, extraordinary things happen. Water is our first priority. We can't put the pigs in the woods absolutely without water. A hose, do you know where a hose is? Yeah, the old barn. Okay. This one. Okay. That one's too short, 50 feet. Might do it. I think that might do it, Jonah. Hi, hello. Hey. Hey. Good morning. Morning. Did I wake you up? No, but it takes me a little while to get out of that recliner. <laughs> All right, we're gonna just come up there and be outside trying to hook up that hose. Oh, that's fine. All right, so don't shoot us. Bye. Okay, well, Grandma's got a hose too. We'll bring her a splitter. Let's see if that works. Bring it down here, let's see if it works. We'll reach. Oh. Lily, you gotta help me find it. We found it the other day. Right there in the log. Okay, yep. No way it's gonna reach, huh? Okay. Let's switch grandma's hose out. Yeah, do grandma's and see if it reaches. Cross our fingers, this works, guys. Put the quick, okay, quick it's gonna work. The quick connects. It's gonna work. Good job. Good job. Good job crossing those fingers. Two uh, hose clamps. <laughs> All right, get me the tool out too, just so. I missed it. All right. I don't know if I'm gonna have to heat it up to get it on there real good or not. How are you supposed to heat? Oh it wow, up? I can get it on here. I have a torch. You do? I think I want to get it on here as much as I can. Wow. Lily, I need you to cross your fingers again. Okay, hey, ready? Let's hope it doesn't leak right here. So far, so good. I'm crossing all my whole body. <laughs> all right, we have it cooked. It's not leaking here, but we hear something down here. Shoot, it's broke. Oh, snap. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Ooh, Probably the down. only thing is a hose with clamps. Look at that shooting. Leak. Let's go down through there and see if that's the only leak. And let's see if it works at the bottom. Because if it works, we could just use it to fill it up and then just turn it off after. Is it coming out? I can't hear. <laughs> Good, we got one working guys. I think we'll just turn it on and just fill it up and then turn it off. Next, let's get fencing and put it in here. Or let's go get their shelter. Well, we could buy ourselves some time and string trim back there and have this and run the fence there and have this as their shelter. This old shack. Do we have a blade trimmer hooked up to something? That'd be the way to get through these briars. Well, you wanna start them down in here then? Put them on the edge of that creek? Up through here maybe? Let's give them this area. From right there, up to there. Okay, they'll love it. Look at all those greens. 
Let's herd the breeder pigs in so that we can use their fence. Okay. Uh, and then we need to herd them in anyway because we're going to get them in a trailer to get them over there. Do you really think we're going to have to put them in a trailer? You think they'll follow us? Oh, easy. I'm not so sure. Across that bridge? Not across the bridge. Okay. Good morning. Buenos dias, chanchos. They've only dug in a few spots. Did you enjoy the sunshine? See if you can get calling in, Jonah. This one's not so sure. Yeah, I'm glad we're not trying to lead them somewhere. Try feeding them a little bit in that feed pen out here and then walking that. You set the bucket, or let me hand the bucket. Okay, now try it. Picking up that pan. Good. Come on. Come on. Come on. They can hold their ears up when they want to. We're just gonna stop her. We're not gonna pressure her. She'll turn around. There we go. Yeah, come up. Come up, son. She's just afraid of that. She's just afraid of that fence right there. Hey, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, we got him in there. A little excitement for you guys this morning. Oh look, they're going right to eat and that's good. Leave the post down here for a moment. Let's go check Polyface Designs because I know I saw something about setting up pig fence. Let's make sure we're gonna do it right. By the way, we've sold like 1,400 copies of this thing since opening cart. I'm absolutely amazed. I shouldn't say surprised because this is a great book, but that's a lot of that's a lot of orders. Okay, there's something in here on. Let's go to the pig section. On pig fencing. Ah, you can adjust the height with the insulators. Adjust wire height comes in handy when your pig create berm along the fence. Okay, so we just we just put it at a height, adjust it more. His favorite permanent wire is 12 and a half gauge aluminum, which I don't have. I might need to switch that because aluminum is four to five times more conductive. And galvanized, but I'm pretty sure my wire inside of my net is that. So I actually have that. Oh, here we go. Okay, six inches. The bottom one is six inches. The top is 15 inches. That's what I'm looking for. And he does do handles. That's good to know too. Okay, I need to take time and read this more. Implement these wooden gates. I've seen it work there, but today. We've got enough info to establish this line. <laughs> An amazing book. So guys, that book is on sale right now. As it's launched, it's 10% off through Sunday. Joel's signing autographs. I'm giving you bonus sticker, bonus surprise sticker. We got a webinar coming up Monday, uh, the day after the bonuses close. So get in there, get that book and uh, Get improving that farm. It's already improved my farm immensely. A little later, uh, well, and tomorrow, we're gonna implement a winter housing system for our chickens based on that book. Just that page right there, telling you how to put up a pig fence. And look how quick, I just came in real quick, looked at it, and I'm going. Okay, boys. Boys. Boys, let's go. I half thought they were sneaking out there and starting. Let's put them in this little patch right here. Okay. I don't know, five days a week. So we do need a string trimmer. Do you wanna go get the string trimmer and I'll walk and get the pig shawl? Why don't we take the mower? Yeah, I guess we could. Arun's using Sally, he's doing our regular chores. Training him for vacation. We are gonna go on vacation <laughs> in December and he's gonna be our farm hand. It's 8.15, I feel like this is going pretty good. 
we got to get their shelter over here, their fence up. There's some issues with what we're going to use for an energizer, some bark. I think it's going pretty good. Got 45 minutes of milking time. I think there's a chance to get that done before then. We're out here getting a shelter and I realized Joel doesn't have shelter for his pigs. Yep. Jordan Green doesn't have shelter for his pigs. Why am I getting a warm shelter? I don't know, I guess I have it because they seem a little fragile right now with the transition. But yeah, they didn't have shelter. And I think Jordan Green, Green runs his pigs outside all winter. I might need to confirm that. We had borrowed some hardware here and so we're putting it back and taking this thing down. It's too mobile on this hill. These pigs moving around too much. These guys being so docile, this pig, pig shawl, might actually work on our uh, old spots. Did we actually drag this thing with this mower? Uh, I can't quite put it on it. It's gonna get in the way of our steering. Hey, Arun, can you come bring Sally? And we'll pull the, the pig shawl with Sally. We're over at the feeder pigs. I don't know if you heard that or not. Arun, Arun. Do you hear Sally? He, he won't be able to hear you. Can you bring Sally over to the feeder pigs? Uh, you know, the uh, fuel is going up where we throw the meat and everything all the way there. Yeah, over to the feeder pigs. Out in the in the pasture where we ran the cows, sheep. Okay, I'm coming out. <laughs> Had to take a little break there. Call for the lumber. I forgot to call this morning. But the lumber's there. Randolph's gonna pick it up. The lumber for the winter housing for the chickens. It's coming today. Let's put another one right in there at that divot, Jonah. Down there? Yep, right there, and then lower these to six inches, six and 12 inches. So that's half a foot and a foot. Okay, go around and do that. Okay, we've got this, this line set up. We are thinking this little of a paddock would have just been easier to do a net. Although a net would have bottomed out on this. The cool thing about these things, you can just put a stake on our ridge there and then our our bottom so it deals with the angulation better I heard that word up at polyface during the tour the angulation of the land so that's kind of an advantage maybe took a little longer than that but it's not bottoming out anywhere like a net would so let's give it a try we're used to nets let's give this a try if you're wondering how the Christmas tree did that we planted last year <laughs> didn't make it okay we're ready save the energizer you think you can work on that while I milk yeah because it is milking time and then I'm thinking right after that let's move these guys I'm gonna keep on milking while the, what, we put the cap on for a second milk <laughs> Maybe, maybe I can work with her. Maybe you can get it down while I'm still milking. Maybe I don't have to take a break. That worked good. Um, the calf got the milk going down, but I decided she's probably gonna knock over the bucket or something if I don't tie her up, so. Anyway, we got the second milk coming down. Sheep, 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 sheep. I don't have much of a lane through there. Escalito got through. 
Yes. Sheep, 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 sheep. Where's Nacho? I have no idea. Oh, here I sheep, come. sheep, 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 sheep. Watch out, Arun. Stand back. Sheep, sheep. He's limping. You guys are wearing him out. Look. You are a breeding fool. He's got a little limp. Chasing all these ladies around. Good job, Lily. Put some on the ground for him. I did. Oh, good. Even Nacho and Escalita there in the back are coming in. Gonna be tamed in no time. You gonna try to touch him? Huh? He let you touch him? Yeah, I huh? him. Wow. Oh, right. What's going on in here? You got a burning up cookie show. I wish you got, I guess, can you guys see that haze? I forgot, Jonah's got a little homeschool lesson online. So let's, let's do breakfast, and then hopefully we'll go back out there. How's my baby's mama doing after that terrible night's sleep? It wasn't that terrible. I mean, it wasn't great, but I'm just taking it really easy. Probably you should, get to. I probably should get up. Well, you wanna get up and help make brunch? Not really. Or at least come sit out there? I need to get up and get dressed. <sighs> That'd probably help me. I'm not kidding. I'm sitting here wondering how we're gonna get these pigs in this trailer. It's not been, it's, it's been dramatic in the past. They have a wood ramp plan for getting pigs in the trailer. Oh my word. I'm gonna see if I can't catch Randolph, see if he's, uh, hasn't left the lumber yard. We'll get us some two by eights. And this is cool. According to Temple Grandin, your maximum angle of ramp should not exceed 25 degrees. So we'll go down there and figure out what length it should be and then build this accordingly. Cut list and everything. Hello. Hey Randolph. Hey there. All right, have you, it's Justin. Have you picked up the lumber yet? Sir, I guess it right now. Can, I'm out here. Do you think it's too late to order a uh, five two by eights cedar? No. Twelve foot. No, we, five two by eights twelve. Yes. Uh, they said they don't think they got two by eights cedar. All right. Well, let's order. Uh, let's get some more two by sixes then. So the concept's there, and even if I can't get two by eights today, I can still take these plans, this idea, and modify it. Let's do it. What do you need, honey? I'm done, can I go to the rest of After you finish cleaning up. I'm done. <laughs> Let's double check it. All right, I thought Joel was absolutely, he, he, I thought he was crazy. I mean, well, I didn't think he was crazy. He asked me to sell his book long, several weeks ago, and I said, okay, and I thought, you know, just be a casual mention or something like that. And then he said, here, hold on, let me get this. So I thought, sure, I can do that. And then in another email he said, I'm counting on you to sell 1,000. 1,000, that's a lot of book. This is a higher end book. This isn't like a $25, even $35 book. This is like a serious, like, you gotta be, this is for the serious. Folks, the serious homesteaders and, and market farmers. One, two, three, four, five, six, that'll probably do it. So then I'll be honest with you, I'm thinking, oh man, I'm gonna disappoint him. I mean, he's counting on me for a thousand. This is impossible though. You know, but I'll do my best. Oh, shoot. Grandma puts these in, they dry out. Boy, they get dried out that way. I thought I'd do my best, even though it was impossible, but here was the key. I kept thinking about it. I think it's called The T Power of Neuroplasticity. It's a book. Basically, you, you put something on, on your mind, even subconsciously, if like you can somehow uh, keep something fresh in your mind. This can apply anywhere. What am I looking for? Um, your mind is just brilliant and it can come up with solutions. So I mulled on this for a while. How we could actually maybe pull this off and came up with a plan, ended up going up to Joel's and made a couple of nice videos up there and, and added some bonuses 
and like him sign hey Joe will you sign hey will you do a webinar hey I can make these extra videos uh, to go with the book to add some uh, value there and it's selling like hotcakes and thanks to you guys for getting it and you're not gonna regret it those of you who have gotten it it's it's gonna change your little homestead world like pig ramps uh, pig fencing uh, winter housing for chickens like I'm those three things I'm using today from that thing I would be somehow slapping together some sort of ramp to put these pigs in uh, but not 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 today leave one bear for the beautiful one so anyway I learned a few things from this uh, first of all have a goal and then have a very specific goal like go, Joel could have just said hey just sell as many as you can I don't think that would have been as effective if, if he would have said thousand and it seemed impossible I pretty much thought it was po impossible but I moved forward like I am moving forward this morning on moving the pigs who wants an egg with their pork burger okay but you guys got to finish folding those towels and uh, close do you want one Josiah so that's the first thing is just aim for the impossible specific impossible and then two the second thing is if you think well don't say I can't just don't say I can't or don't say that's impossible say instead of say I can't do that think in your mind how can I do that and or when can I do that that's what happened with me Joel set the specific lofty goal and I mold on it and eventually my mind came around to it and came up with a nice plan and then you guys helped of course and followed through on that but something weird in this egg I guess maybe that one was fertilized a little bit it's probably super good for me but it's just a little weird I'm not there yet my carnivore adventure Gideon's asking about the baby if the baby if I pushed it would the baby come out right now but I'm telling him that the baby is enclosed in my uterus inside a sack and there's some there's a there's a cervix it's where the baby it opens up so the baby's head can go through so that doesn't happen until labor happens oh so when labor starts i'll push the baby out i don't know if you heard that but at the end he said can you give me milk he's over it it's way too big of an answer for him becky look who's here randolph with all the lumber it's a lot of lumber. I got the wagon loaded. Yeah, you do. <laughs> All right, let's take it around down to the greenhouse down there. All right. As far as you can get with this thing. I'll okay. spot you. We've got our lumber. We're going to have a blitz build tomorrow. I've hired Jason, my buddy, to come. Uh, Randolph's picking up a few more supplies. Nice. We're going to try to knock this out in one day tomorrow. Get our chickens in here tomorrow. Let's have goals. It's 12 o'clock. Let's get done by two. I do need to edit at some point today. I think that's a lofty goal. Let's, let's see what our width is here. They called for a 72 inch. Not anywhere near 72 inches. So let's do a, this is cool, man. Let's do a, uh, let's do five foot. Let's do five foot. That seems like a good even number, almost all the way across. And the book says you don't want to be higher than 22 inches. That's gonna be no problem, that's only 14 inches. This is so cool. I'm so tickled by this book. No more just slapping together stuff. We've got plans for a pig ramp, y'all. All right, our impossible goal is to build this ramp and not just build the ramp. In less than two hours, actually move the pigs to forest. Let's do it. Oh, that's super nice. Look at that, Jonah. I don't. I wouldn't have thought to do it so wide, but that makes sense because the pigs aren't, you know, they aren't threatened by the edge or anything. This is beefy. This is for real. Okay, Jonah. Let's get our handles in. They have handles for moving this thing. I wouldn't have necessarily thought about that. Rope and old hose. It goes around this one, honey. He got a little ahead of me. Uh, so do one right here and here. 
just a little bit off. But why does it make sense? On either side. It makes sense that we're going to be picking it up right here and uh, right here. It'll be balanced. And, and our arms won't be too wide. Okay. I'd say do it about right there. Okay. Yeah, on either side. Good. While he does that, I just got an email from Joel. We're working out some of the logistics. I think we're both kind of surprised by how this is going. We've sold 1,620 so far. I'm kind of thinking, we've already blown our goal out of the water. What if we like, cause like a good problem? Remember Joel said, we only cause problems if we have 4,000? Like what if we sell out of the first print? Come on guys, let's do it. Let's give Joel a problem. Let's give Joel a really good problem to have. This is a good thing. Let's sell it out. Let's sell it out. Go right there. And at this point, I think we're gonna, we're gonna, I don't think that's unrealistic. Like if you want in on this first printing, that's what it's becoming. Like get in there. Cause we're almost halfway done and we're not even halfway through the sale, guys. You got it? Yep. Okay, one more. One more. On either side there. Look at this. This is so cool. What a cool way to carry it. Rope and hose. Knots on the other side of it. Oh, the instructions right there. Okay, let's do it. Ready? You got it? Yeah. Nice. Got the tractor backed up here. Jonah, this is legit. I'm excited about this. I was not impressed how they got the pigs off of this thing. This is gonna be smooth. You got that in? You pick it up and put it up there, there, there. Sweet. We've got our ramp. We've got our pallets up. We've got our blinders in. Another pallet, just temporarily tied. This is a nice chute. I'm thinking this is gonna go super smooth. Let's do this. Long gone are the days of drama. Loading and unloading pigs. Just give them easy. Give them easy. They're, they're asleep. They've been sleeping. Look at this. <laughs> Let them smell it. Let them smell it. I thought that was going to be too easy. Come on. Come on. There we go. Let's go. You guys got it. You got it. <laughs> Woo! We did it. We did it. Now, would you like to stand here, Jonah, or me, while we get everything I'll shut? I'll stay here. Okay. All right, don't push them fast. We don't want them to run through the fence, so just let them take their time. Perfect, perfect. That is just fine right there. Come on guys, fresh grass. Perfect. Jonah, we did it, my man. There you guys go. Happy in your forest. We did it, we did it. Coming to get my book. Thanks, thanks to this, this book, Polyface Designs. We are an hour late, it's three o'clock. I gotta go in there and edit. You guys can grab this, I guess while supplies last. It's flying off the shelves. Link in the description or polyfacedesigns.com. But this was, we aimed for the impossible today and we got it done. We were an hour late. It makes me think, I was reading this book, Empire State of Mind. It's about Jay-Z, yeah, the rapper. I don't think I've ever heard any of his songs. The book was more about his business suave or his uh, talent. And one thing he said in there, I think I'll never forget it is, difficult takes a day, impossible takes a week. In this case, impossible took a little out, an hour longer than I was hoping. All right, let's go edit, check out the book. We'll see you guys tomorrow. We're gonna, in one day, we're gonna set this up for chickens. We have our net here. We're gonna need a bigger net. We're gonna park our chickens here in the morning. 
and hopefully by the end of the day we're going to be putting the chickens in their winter housing. Mm.